Hello students, today we will study unit number 4 which is electrical machines. So in this video we are going to understand the construction and the working principle of capacitor run induction motor. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So this motor is a type of a single phase induction motor and this motor is using one capacitor. So that capacitor will run the motor. That is why name of this motor is capacitor run induction motor. Now question may arise that how that capacitor will run the motor. So for that purpose simple answer is there that uh, that capacitor will produce the phase difference between two currents which are flowing from the main winding and flowing from the starting winding. So due to that phase difference our rotor will start to rotate and as a centrifugal switch is not used over here so that when motor or you can say rotor will achieve or will reach up to its 70 percentage speed from its maximum speed then also that uh, starting winding will not be separated from the main circuit. So with the help of capacitor now that rotor will keep continue it rotation that is why it is known as capacitor run induction motor now how that we will understand in this video so first of all we will discuss about its construction so in the construction we can say that it has one main winding and it has one starting winding now that main winding and starting winding both are connected in parallel with each other parallel with each other across one voltage source which is V which is single phase AC supply that means if from the voltage source say I current will come so at this junction current will be divided on both of these branches supposing over here IS current will come IS means what current flowing from secondary winding and from this branch say IM current will flow IM means current flowing through main winding okay now that main winding is designed in such a way that it has high inductance and low resistance that means this becomes our series LR circuit and for series LR circuit we know one thing very well which one that whatever current is there that current lags behind the voltage current lags behind which current I am current lags behind the voltage in the case of series LR circuit that we have already studied. Okay. Similarly the starting winding is designed in such a way that it has low inductance but high resistance and that of starting winding is connected in series with capacitor. So that whole portion becomes our series you can say LC circuit. And for series LC circuit, what we know? We know that for the case of series LC circuit, whatever current is there, which is IS, whatever current is there, that current leads the potential with some angle or with some phase. Okay. Now, that is the talk about series and series, oh, sorry, that is the talk about main winding and starting winding. Now, that capacitor is not connected with that uh, centrifugal switch. That's it. Okay. Now we'll start with the uh, working principle. Now in the working principle we can say that uh, whatever current which is flowing from the main winding which is I am that current lags behind the potential that current lags behind the potential that current lags behind that is potential lags behind the potential say phi m phase. Similarly, whatever current which is IS flowing from the starting winding will lead the potential, will lead the potential. So that is potential, lead the potential with say phi S phase or phi S angle. That means now we have two currents and between both of the currents some phase difference is there. Say phase difference is suppose alpha. So if you want to find out the resultant current, so you will draw the parallelogram, then you can find out the resultant current which is I. So due to that resultant current, according to the Faraday's principle, magnetic field is produced. So direction of magnetic field will be like this. That is the direction of magnetic field B. 
and due to that magnetic field what happen in this direction magnetic force will be created so from the diagram we can say that magnetic force is created in this direction that is the direction of a magnetic force so that magnetic force will do what it will impart the force on the rotor or you can say it that force will impart the initial torque to on that motor or on that rotor so that rotor will start to rotate in this direction now when rotor will start to rotate up to its 70 percentage speed from its normal speed then also over here centrifugal uh, that uh, switch is not used so uh, when rotor is in motion up to its maximum speed then also with the help of capacitor now rotor will keep continue its motion that means with the help of capacitor rotor will run that is why it is known as capacitor run induction motor so that is all about the working principle now we'll try to understand its uh, uh, speed uh, torque characteristics curve so on that x axis speed is there on y axis percentage of full load torque is present so from this diagram we can say that that if you want to start this motor at that time very much high initial torque is required which is around you can say 350 percentage torque from its maximum load value now as speed is increasing torque is also increasing speed is increasing torque is also increasing now that torque will increase up to maximum breakdown torque value and after that torque will start to decrease and becomes zero when n is equals to ns that means when actual speed of the rotor becomes a synchronous speed of the motor okay so that is characteristics curve now we'll understand its application so this type of motors are used to is used for the heavy duty purposes why because centrifugal switch is not used motor will keep continuous rotation with the help of a capacitor okay so for that purpose what's happen its a power factor is high so that's why they are used for the heavy duty purposes like they are used in ceiling fans table fans blower oil burner air conditioner and conveyors etc so in this video mein bas itna hi so till then read hard work hard thank you very much